Welcome to a spend the day with me vlog you guys are gonna be spending Tuesday with me because I realized that I don't have a video to go up tomorrow which is Wednesday and I'm supposed to be posting every Sunday and every Wednesday and I've kind of been slacking so I'm trying to get back to being consistent if you're new to the vlog which I hope you're not welcome my name is Emily love and today we have a pretty busy day plan y'all it is currently what time is it? It's 10.30 and this is so late for me to start my day because I'm usually up by 5 and I do everything I need to do to be out of my apartment by at least 9 right after I drop my son off to school but um, my plan was today to do a photo shoot. I have some new inventory from my boutique that I wanted to shoot today. Uh, my photographer Michael, he was supposed to take my picture but he's sick y'all. He got sick. And I think he he may have caught COVID for me. You guys who watched my last vlog, I told you I caught COVID from the gym. So I think he made I got he may have gotten it from me because he was hanging out with me um, the entire time that I was sick before we found out it was COVID. But when we found out, it was already too late. So he hang out with me the whole time. So now he's sick. So I'm thinking that's what it is. He's probably gonna go get tested today or tomorrow. So I had to cancel my photo shoot plan for today, but I already got up and did my hair and put makeup on. I just needed to like touch on my lip and maybe put on some blush. But then um, when I spoke to him, he wasn't feeling better. I think he was actually feeling, I don't know if I should open this. Yes, he was actually feeling worse. So I decided that I am just gonna um, head to HomeSense and pick up and try to look for some furniture. I saw like this really nice couch yesterday that I wanna get for the studio space. So I'm thinking about going there and buying that. And then I also saw a really nice big mirror. I don't know if they still have it because it was only one. So um, I hope it's still there. I was being cheap. It's $3.99. And I was just like, do I want to pay $3.99? And also, I just felt like um, when I buy that mirror, I'm going to end up end up finding another mirror that I really like. I want to buy it. It's a nice mirror, but it's not what I had in mind. But it's pretty nice and it's a good size. So I was just like, mm, let me sleep on it. But after I slept on it, I'm like, all right, I need to go and get the mirror because it's a good size. And then they also have a white couch there that I want for the lifestyle space that I wanted to buy yesterday. But I was stuck between that and the curve. I'll pop a picture of the curve um, sofa on here. My only issue with that is I'm a little nervous that it's going to get dirty easily because we are going to be renting out the studio for other creators to use. So I'm thinking about... Oh, the sun is a lie. It's making my hand disappear. So I'm thinking about um, the one that I saw at HomeSense because that one, it has a zipper and you could take the fabric off of the sofa and off of the pillowcases. Pillow cushion off of the cushion and wash it so i'm thinking about probably going with that one just because it make more sense to be able to wash it if i get the other one that the fabric doesn't come off i think it's gonna get dirty way too easily so that was my hesitation so i hope the couch is still there i want to go and pick that up when i woke up this morning y'all i woke up this morning did my hair did my makeup load up my car got ethan ready took him to school and then i sat down for like I said I was going to sit down for 20 minutes and just read my email because I've been really behind on my email. And y'all, my email gave me such anxiety. Let me know if you're a creator. Does your email give you anxiety? I dread going through my email because I just get so many emails and I get overwhelmed every time I open my email. So I was like, all right, today I'm going to sit down. I'm going to go through my email because I have um, a few brands that I normally work with that reach out. And then there are new brands that I've that have been reaching out so i wanted to get on top of that and y'all the 20 minutes turned into two hours and that's what i was afraid of i was literally sitting responding to email checking out um some of the new brands website checking out their collections um i have a monthly partnership with ann taylor i had to go check out their june collection to pick out the products that i want i was literally there for like two hours going through my email it was a lot. I decided to just leave some of the emails and get back to it tonight because I was just like, this is a lot. So what I did was I went by the oldest email and I just responded and then I left the newest 
oh my god that's more email coming in and then i left the new the newer email for um later today when i get back but um while going through my email i realized that i have a sponsor content that is due today that i'm supposed to submit for review and i have not even shot the content yet so i'm gonna run to the studio after i go check home sense and see if they have the furniture i'm gonna run to the studio and try to shoot that content real quick <laughs> edit it and submit it they want a rails and rules are usually easy to shoot once i have the concept and the music in mind um and i've already tried all the clothes on the fit so when i'm done with the uh with home sense i'll do that but i wanted to go to the mall because i wanted to pick up a pair of black sandals i actually made a list of the things that i need from the mall to shoot that rails i need heavy duty clip because the some of the bottoms don't fit they're a little big on me so i need to hold them hold them in the bag or maybe i might just put pins on it i need that i want to get a straw bag i want another white bag and i want a pair of nude or white heels and i need a good size half bra because the half bra that i have now since i put on a little bit of weight it doesn't it's not as flattering when i put it on it gives me a lot of underarm boobs and it just look weird so i want to run to the mall and pick that up so those are what I'm those are the things that I'm gonna do and then I will go and shoot the reel. I have talked enough and it is super hot today. I think it's gonna be 80 degrees. I have on this white dress from Walmart. When I get to the studio, I will show you guys, but I wanna run now and go to Home Sense and hope that they still have the mirror and still have the couch for me. So let's do that and I'll catch up with you guys later. Uh, there's been a lot of work that's already been done on the studio space when we get there I'll give you guys an updated tour so you can see I had some guys come in on Saturday and do some work there that I am loving It looks so good. If you follow me on IG, you probably already seen it But if you're not following me on IG, you need to follow me. I don't know why you're not following me, but go ahead and follow me All right, y'all uh, Let's get out of here. It is super hot I'll show you guys my outfit. I might run to the mall. Hopefully we... I'll try to be quick. I'll run to the mall because I really want to get some stuff to, like, make those uh, outfit looks look better. Um, and accessory always do that. So, let's go. I need to put this air on. It's so hot. Alright, catch up with you guys when I get there. I want to pay attention to the road. So, I'll turn the camera on. But this is my white dress from Walmart. It's such a pretty dress, but I hate wearing it when I have makeup on because I worry about makeup getting on the neck. Do you guys see that? But the sun is so good today, y'all. Look how my skin is glowing. Hey guys, I just got to HomeSense. Um, I was actually on the phone running my mouth and I missed my exit. <laughs> I went all the way to the studio and then I had to turn around and come back. But I just got here, so let's hope that they have the um, mirror and the chair. If not, I'm not even going to stress about it because I am a strong believer that everything happened for a reason. So if it's here, then it's meant to be. If it's not, then it's not meant to be. So let's go see. I hate when the sun is so bright that you can see the um, shadow of my lashes. It looks weird. Or maybe these lashes are too long. I'm not sure what it is. But let's go inside.
All right, guys, I am back from HomeSense, and y'all, tell me why I thought the couch was $1,200, only to get to the register for them to tell me that it is $2,000. I'm like, what the heck? I'm not paying $2,000 for a couch that is not brand new, it's already stained, it's the floor sample, it's a mess. I was just like, no, I'm not paying $2,000 for that. And because they have stains on it, um, I asked if I can get a discount, and then they said it was gonna take $20 off. I'm like, $20 from $2,000 is not even 10%. So, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I feel like I can find something cheaper on Wayfair. Like, even if I find something for the same price, I prefer it to be brand new and clean, and I don't have to worry about um, taking all of the fabric off and washing it the same day that I buy it and I'm paying two thousand dollars for it plus delivery so I was just like no but I'm sad because I really like that couch um, I did end up paying for the mirror I have to call the delivery company they say they have a delivery company that you call and they will tell you how much it is to deliver it I don't even know if I want to be bothered with that headache I'll think about it but um, we're gonna run into the mall let me go into Victoria's Secret and get a bra and look for all the shoes and stuff and then go shoot my reels. I might just browse on Wayfair site for a little bit and see if I can find something similar online to order because I'm just so disappointed. You guys let me know if I'm tripping but that's a lot for a chair that's already been through um, a lot. <laughs> let me think about it and figure that out. I'll get back to you guys when we get to the mall. Let me go see what I can find. It's already 11.48. I need to at least be at the studio by 2 o'clock or one one i need to be there at least before one like 12 30 12 45 stay in the pools and shoot that room really quick um yeah so let me go to the mall now and do a time
All right, guys, I am back. I did go into a Victoria's Secret, as you guys saw. Um, funny thing is, I have never been into Victoria's Secret fitting room. That was my first time going in there, and it's so cute. I'm a sucker for pretty fitting rooms of pretty anything. Um, but I went and got measured for my right bar size because I realized that um, since I put on some weight, y'all, I gained like 10 pounds. Uh, so my bra doesn't fit me as good as it used to and it just fit weird. It's giving me back fat It's giving me side boobs. It's just giving me a lot. That is just not It's not cute. So when I went in I got two new bras. This is the first one. It's a scrapless bra I was calling it half bra and the girl was like what is a half bra and I was like scrapless bra Af in Africa We say half bra. So I'm so used to saying half bra That's weird <laughs> Um, so my new size is a 34C when I used to be like a 32A That is a big jump, uh, but I tried this on and it's pretty comfortable. So I got a black and I got nude um, I was on the phone with my girlfriend Vivian and she was like I didn't know people still shop at Victoria's Secret for bra but I'm just like I like going there because they measure you and They have decent bras the bra that I have on is from there and I had this for like a little over a year. I'm someone that wear my bras to the ground. Then I went into uh, Mace paper bag and it's super noisy. Just give me a second. Let me get the shoe out so I can show you guys. So I wanted a brown pair of shoes. I ended up getting a pair of shoes from Steve Madden. They have so many cute summer shoes in there, but they did not have my size at all. Most of the sizes they had was like a five and a six and I'm a seven, six and a half on a good day. So I'll probably go online and order some of the shoes that I saw because Steve Madden should have it on their site. But this is the brown sandals that I got. And this is so cute. I have a pair of um, brown set, two-piece set from Express that I want to wear with this. And there's a, a bag from Steve Madden also that I saw in Nordstrom Rack yesterday that I want to go pick up. I think it's going to go cute with the reels, the outfit that I have to stop for my sponsor content. I think it will go great with that, the bag and the shoes. Even though the bag and the shoes is not from the brand, but I still want to make the outfit look good. Let's delivery go. people to see how much it will be, it will cost if I got the chair and the mirror deliver, and they say 150. It's not bad, but literally the studio is like 10 minutes down the road, so I don't know why it's 150, but I guess you're paying for them their car, their gas, them picking it up, the labor, blah, blah, blah. So to me, it's not that bad. I am thinking that I should probably get the chair. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know if I should get it. I really like it, and I like the fact that you could take the fabric off and wash it. Um, I don't know who the brand is. I should probably go back and check out the brand. And also, um, because I have a sponsor content that I need to shoot, that I really just want to get the chair in there, I'm just like, oh, should I should I do it? I'm thinking I might go ask to speak to a manager and see if I can get at least like sixty or fifty dollars off. Just because the African and me were just used to negotiating, I want to go and negotiate and bring the price down. I'm just like, no, it's thin, it's very quiet, it's thousand dollars. It should be way less. I am back from Nordstrom Rack. Um, let me show you guys the items that I got. We need to hurry up and run to the studio. It's 1.30 and I need to go create that reels. Um, but I picked up this black bag. I saw it and it just reminded me of like the Chanel bag. It have a black scrap. It's so cute. And then they have um, the thicker scrap at the bottom. They have the chain scrap here. And this was only $29. Um, I pick it up from Nordstrom Rack. I like it because I don't have a black uh, crossbody bag for everyday use. So this is perfect. And my little coach bag can actually get a break. So I like this a lot. I'm excited about it. This is the bag that I actually went back for that I said matched perfectly with that sandal. Um, it just gives me more of like a summer vibe. It reminds me of 
um, a straw bag, but it's not really a straw bag. I like it, and I think it goes well with uh, the brown sandals. But I also picked up this brand, brown sandal. It's a little great with the reels that I'm about to go shoe. Um, the brand vibe is really casual and beachy, so I figured this would be really cute with two of the outfits that they sent over, and I can use this bag. It's not too dressy. It's giving me casual, easy summer vibes. So, yeah, those are the items that I picked up from Nordstrom. It came to 100 bucks, which is not bad. Hey guys, I finally made it to the studio. It is 2.30, y'all. Um, I stopped at the gas station to get some gas, and then I picked up what I am gonna call lunch because I'm starving. Um, I got the Naked Blue Machine. I'm gonna shake, the, shake this up nicely and drink it. This time of the day is so busy on the road that there's a lot of noise in this space because the street is right there in the first room that's gonna be known as the studio room is a lot of noise with the cars going by but let me show you guys the update on the place and what we have done so far oh, I should say what I've done so far I did um, went ahead and had the place painted not all of the rooms though I, I got two of the rooms painted white and then I got the um, hallway painted white because it just looked better the brown was looking a little bit off um, and I think it would just look pe better. I don't know why I cannot speak. It would just look better for content creating. Do you guys see the difference already? It's so light, it's so bright. It's just so airy. I love it. Um, let me give you guys a quick tour of the entry. The entryway on Saturday, the guys came in. The paint had the whole space. Um, it was like a light beige, or beige, brown, or gray. I don't even know what color that was. But you guys see the before and after like it was very dark i just didn't like the way it looked it didn't pop so they went ahead and painted it white i like the white so much better um and it was really fast i think they took two hours to do this i found the guys at home depot they were contractors and i just got them to paint the place so this is what it looks like after it just looks so much brighter so light um i even had them paint the coat handle thing white i don't know what that thing is called i usually leave my keys on there so it's easier for me to just grab it and go out the door they painted this entire hallway white and i feel like it looks so much better we're gonna have a welcome station over here with the um studio logo or sign above it something's gonna be here and then when you come down this is gonna be our dry bar I will insert an inspo photo of the look that I'm going for. But they had the bar put in. They need to come back and put the handles on there. And put the, they put this handle in. But they need to put this one and the rest of these on there. And then I'll have the, uh, the mini fridge just going to go right in here in the middle. So this is our mini bar. I was thinking about um, getting a bigger one. But I really don't need it to be that big because this is a good size. And I picked this fake marble, marble, marble countertop from, I think we got this from Lowe's, Lowe's or Home Depot, Home Depot, yeah, we got it from Home Depot, and I like the color, it's very pretty, and I'm gonna get the, um, the shelf put up there, like the inspo photo. Here we'll have the mini fridge, where we'll have, we'll have drinks in there, water, um, juice, soda iced coffee everything is gonna go in there and then on the counter we'll have our coffee station I'm gonna get a coffee maker and put it here and then we'll have some stuff some snacks and some fruits here so when you come to the studio you know you can have some drinks and something to snack on so I'm thinking this area right here I'm gonna set something up here too I don't know what I'm gonna set up here yeah but this would be like a really bomb photo area and then the mirror from anthropology that i really want i'll pop on the screen for you guys to see the mirror is going to be somewhere in this entryway in this entryway so when you walk in you can see that and it's going to be gorgeous that's all the update for the entryway i'm also thinking about putting some type of sheer curtains over there but i don't think we're supposed to block the exit but it'll be able to open and close just for the door to look pretty because i don't like this i don't like this it's kind of ugly but that's something to worry about later. Then in the studio room here, we had this room painted as well. But this is the fun part. We got pan well, I got panels put in. I keep saying we because I'm thinking about Louisa, but Louisa is out of town. 
and she leave all the to course stuff up to me. what the space look like with the panels put in i only put the panels on this one wall maybe i should have did the entire room but i was thinking about um maybe doing wallpaper in one of on one of the other walls just so every part of the room have a different vibe maybe doing a wallpaper on this wall or we might even do a backdrop on this wall and then do like a fun wallpaper on this wall and I don't know if I told you guys before, I plan on getting a heater cover to cover this up and getting some sheer curtains from Ikea. I did buy some the other day, but I didn't take the measurement of the space, so it doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to return it and get something longer, and the guys that paint it will come back and um, put the curtains up for me. And this drop ceiling, I really hate it. I can't stand it, but the guy said we can actually change it. I can find a prettier one that's gonna match the decor and he can change this out. So I'm really looking forward to changing that. But they did a really good job with the panels and they were super fast. They came on Saturday and they did everything. So because they were painting on Saturday, I moved most of my stuff to the middle room. So it's a bit of a mess, <laughs> don't judge it. I had to take everything from everywhere and just throw it in here. This room we haven't painted, we just left it gray. Um, this is all the stuff from the big room because I got that room painted. And these are some of the items that I have to shoot the reels. I ran out of hangers, so I just laid them there. I really need to buy a bigger rack. Well, I have a bigger rack in my storage. I just need to go and grab it. But they took all the stuff out of this room because this room got painted white as well. This is going to be our lifestyle room. I've already told you guys that. The couch that I want to buy is going to go over there. And then the mirror is probably going to go against that wall. I just have to figure out the layout. And I pick up this chair from home goods this is the only chair we have and i just wanted to get something because i really need to sit when i'm in here i just need something to sit on sometimes to take a break or to shoot a youtube video and this was so cute i figured it's gonna go well with the aesthetic it was a little pricey but i like it because it spins around <laughs> and i really enjoy just sitting in it and spinning around so yeah this is the chair it's so cute um and this is what this room looks like everything is pretty empty so far so <sighs> I have a lot of work to do but let me go ahead and get started on this rail I'm gonna shoot it in this room next to the panel right there I think the light is gonna be great so I need to steam the clothes and get started on that I gotta close this get started on that and have my little lunch I brought a steamer with me I don't really know where it is I think it's in the hallway somewhere I got a steamer with me. It's in here somewhere. I'm gonna grab it and start steaming my life right, away. I have on my first look. I'm about to get started with the reels. I need to turn the light down in here on the camera because it's super bright. But let me flip you guys around so you can see my first look. Um, the reels is sponsored by Reformation. Reformation 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 i'll have it on the screen but the first look is this linen top it's so pretty i love it why does it feel like my camera screen is dirty pay no attention to this room it's so filthy i have so much stuff in here but this is the top it's so cute but y'all that things are so expensive and i was struggling to get into the shirt i'm like if i pay 150 dollars for a shirt i really don't want to have to struggle to put it on I think I need to pull my wig back a little. <laughs> but yeah, this is the top. And then I have on a straight legs, black jeans. Also from them, I'm going to set up now and we are going to go ahead and shoot the reels. I'll let you guys see the behind the scene scenes. I just wanted to show guys, the look. So I wrapped up my sponsor reels. But before I head home, I wanted to try to squeeze in one more reels. Because I have these cute sets here from Espress. So I want to do um, Espress sets reels. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot that quick. Um, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to shoot it before I have to run out. I'm sorry, the light on my camera is not that great. But um, if the reels is ready before this vlog go up, I'll pop it here on the screen. If not, head over to my IG and check it out. But how cute is this set? I was planning on... Um, possibly returning it when I bought it because the blazer is $178 y'all and I think the bottom is like 60 or 70 something dollars and I'm just like 
this is a lot i'm gonna return it but now that i have it on i don't think i'm gonna return it i am loving it yes all right let me try and run and shoot this reels really quick because i want to post it tomorrow the sponsor one that i just shot is not going to get posted tomorrow because they have to get sent over to the brand they have to approve it all of that good stuff so i need something to post tomorrow because i didn't post today but i am loving this set so definitely check out my ig if i don't pop the reels here for you to see it all right, I have to go now. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So I did not get a chance to actually shoot their reels because I just got a second email from the brand asking about that sponsor content that I'm some I'm that I'm supposed to submit. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna try to rush through this. Let me just get out of here and go submit this content. But I don't know if I told you guys today. I got so much compliment on this Walmart dress that I wore. So many compliments. It's super cute. I like this dress a lot. My only issue is the quality is really bad. Well, it's not really bad, but it's very thin. It have no lining. I think I talked about this before on here. It has no lining, so it's super thin. I wish I could find something similar in a better quality because I do like it a lot. And I don't like the neck because I always get a ton of makeup on there. But before I run out of here, I want to measure the, the space for the mini bar because the guy that put it in he did it with a measurement of a mini bar that i not a mini bar a mini fridge that i had in my amazon card but i don't know which one because i had like three in my amazon card so now i don't know which one to order because i don't remember which one he did the measurement by so i'm just gonna go ahead and measure it quickly so when i get home tonight or well today i can order the um the fridge because i have so many iced coffee and smoothie that I, I want to bring and keep here so when I'm working I can use but I always forget so I'm not really good at measuring <laughs> I hope I'm doing it right I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom you guys can't see me but from the top to the bottom and this is what I got I think I need to switch my camera to manual focus and it's about 34 34 33 what is this inches I think this is inches or feet but Thank you. Is this fake? What is this? I think this is. I think this is feet. <laughs> I'm probably not the right person to do this, but I feel like this is about three feet. Oh, it's about three feet. I don't know how much that is in inches, but I'll convert it when I get home. But I think it should fit. Uh, my battery is about to die. Let me change out the battery quick and we will run out of here, y'all. I'm not even going to clean up the mess that I made because I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. But I need to run out of here. It is a mess. I'm just going to walk away from it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. Oh, I need to close this blind. I need to go home and edit this reels and write my caption and edit my story and submit it. Um, and think about if I'm going to get that couch or not. I will update you guys in the next vlog if I do end up, end up getting it. But that's about it. I'm in a hurry so I can barely speak. But talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.